Hey there. I am going to do a commission today. It is going to be a painting of a hummingbird and I have some photo references that I just pulled off Google. Red and Patience, which is a flowering bush that's kind of small. It's a flowering type plant. And of course the hummingbird, which everyone loves. So these are just my references. I'm going to do an 8x10 canvas and it's a good one. It's got the super heavy duty frame. It's nice and tight and I pre-primed it a couple of coats of gesso just to give it a little bit smoother surface than just using a straight out primed canvas out of the package which has some texture to it. I'm going to use Deco Art colors today and these are the range of colors. I won't use everything but I wanted to mention it. Americana Titanium White and of course always black. Um, Quinacridone Violet. Purple Rain, Dioxane Purple, Carousel Pink, Wild Berry, Tuscan Red, Orange Flame, Cadmium Yellow, Evergreen, Kelly Green, Peacock Teal, Teal Mint, Indian Turquoise, Baby Blue, Blue Harbor, Bright Blue, Ultra Blue Deep, I forgot, good old Sour Apple, and I have some metallics that I may put on at the very end for some shimmer. And the, uh, I'm going to trace it the old fashioned way where you take a piece of copy paper and you put your pencil on the back. You scrub it really good with pencil so when you put it down and you tape it, you use a ballpoint pen to press down and do the edges and then you paint in the details. So that is what I'm going to do. This, this is the old-fashioned way. Otherwise, you can use transfer paper or carbon paper, which I don't want to fool with. This is easier for me. So, I'm going to move things aside, get my paint set up, transfer my image, and start painting. And I'm not going to talk. This is a commission for a birthday gift for a lady in Tennessee. Her daughter commissioned me all the way from Texas. We've never even met in person. This was something that a girl contacted me on Facebook about. So I'm just always humbled and honored to be able to do paintings for people, especially ones I don't know. For you to put your trust in me is just totally amazing. So this is going to be painted and I'm going to ship it out Monday for the lady in Tennessee who will be getting this as a surprise birthday gift from her daughter and I'm just tickled pink for her to get it. So I will be painting here quickly in just a minute. So I'm pausing right here just to show that um, I decided to go ahead and put it in my background because I'm not going to do a full painting of the Impatience. I want just a cluster of it and I wanted the feel of sky in the background and it's so much easier to put the sky in first because it's in the background and you paint your detail in as you get closer. And so this goes ahead and puts the sky in and then I traced the hummingbird in. And the reason I use the permanent marker is because sometimes that will stay in and it will kind of peek through your paint colors because it is a permanent marker, which is what I want because then that kind of helps me stay with the outline of the shapes and where the colors change and that kind of stuff. But mostly the paint will cover over almost all of it. 
and uh, the, the flowers and all I will probably just kind of freestyle and just paint in on my own. I don't know that I'll draw them in. I may, I may not, I'm not sure. But um, I want to go ahead and paint in my hummingbird first. It is the centerpiece of this whole painting. So I want to make sure I get it totally exquisite. And then the flowers are just an afterthought. It will basically just need to be honed in on a couple of blooms because they're attracted to red. And so those couple of blooms will really have the detail as well. But I want the hummingbird to really stand out. So that's why I kind of did it in this order. And um, I may pull out, like I said, a little bit of metallics just to give it some sparkle because hummingbirds are truly beautiful and there's so much fine detail and shimmer to their coloring that you don't see because they're so fast and quick. But if you get a photograph of one that is posed in pause mode in a photograph, you can see the iridescent shimmer on its feathers, it, which is just as exquisite. So that's why I'm doing the hummingbird first. And um, when, you're, when you're transferring something that has pencil on the back, oftentimes you will get smudges of that pencil. And I always keep, and that's smearing my, my black there. But I always keep um, this or a kneaded eraser, K-N-E-A-D-E-D. -E -E a kneaded eraser is a gray colored eraser that you can form and mold and squish and make it into points. It's really, I don't have any right now, but um, that's another eraser that is really a beautiful tool to have as an artist. So I'm just basically making sure the pencil smudges that were around the hummingbird when I transferred it because sometimes when you put pressure on the picture as you're tracing with the, the ballpoint pen to transfer it, you will um, get some smudges. And that's okay because all of that's pretty much going to be covered, but I do try to get it out of you know the sky area or somewhere where there may not be a chance of having a flower or leaf or something in that area. So back to painting, back to fast speed.
Okay, I am done. Here is the hummingbird with the red impatience, which are a, a, a um, kind of a ground type cover, or people use them in pots and de decorating. I don't know if you're looking at it from a different country and you've never seen them before. They're just a flowering plant. And of course hummingbirds are attracted to red. So and he, the hummingbird has shimmer. He's so pretty. She is so pretty. I don't know if it's he or she. I didn't put any red on the throat. Typically, you know, some of them have red on the throat, but um, I did not do it on this one. So, I hope you enjoyed it. There is the finished painting. So, if you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and you'll get notifications if you click on the bell down at the bottom right. When it has the little symbol on either side of the bell, that means you'll get notifications. And if you look under your video, show more, it will tell you products and links to all my social media, Facebook. Go find me on Instagram and follow me. I need your support. Patreon. Come be a patron and I will give you different perks and I'll do Q&As and if you're in the higher level of the Patreon, we'll do Skyping together and talk one-on-one, -on -one, that kind of thing. So, um, there's different levels, and I, on the higher level, uh, on Patreon, after a year subscription, I give you a free painting up to 320 inches or so. So, up to like a 16 by 20-ish, or, you know, something like that. Um, so you earn a free painting by the giving of your subscription every month. So please consider it. I, um, I need funds to keep these paintings coming and to support. Uh, I want to get a studio. I want to teach classes. I want to teach online classes. And I need the, the area and the space to do it. So I hope you enjoyed it. There it is. I love it. Thank you. I appreciate you watching. And I appreciate your support.